takes us to understand when we talk about submission please hear this the way we interpret submission is from the african demonic perspective not the bible what is submission it is strength put under control that's submission you should not be a doormat that's that's subjugation so if you say well eh, ah, i'm submitting to my husband oh, and you are very poor you are not doing anything the man just sleeps with you and then you say, come here why did you drive the car that way you are not submitting you are obeying it's a difference between the two submission is you are important you are heavy you are anointed you have some things in your life and you can still honor your husband there is no human being on earth that I will give honor to until I have given it to my husband. So when you submit to the man, when you deal that to the man, he knows that this is a heavyweight champion submitting to me. He said, there's one man in our church. Ah, that man is poor, but he's very humble. What else will a, will a poor person be? What else? Be a great wife. Help your husband to fulfill his destiny. Wake up in that area. Help your husband to fulfill destiny. Stand by him. Support him. We have a pastor's wife's conference coming up. If you see it on the internet, November 25. Please encourage people. Pastor's wives and female ministers. There are things we cannot tell you when church members are there. And some of you are in pains. You are bleeding. Go online. You will see it. So, stand by your husband. Prayer, cover him. Satan, prove him. Delilah, prove him. Jezebel, prove him. Satisfy your husband sexually. Some of you need to wake up in that area. You say, I'm old. He's your husband. And there's no marriage in heaven except the one we have with the Lord Jesus Christ. Satisfy him. And it's not just one way traffic kind of sex, missionary type. So the man is bored. Same style every day. Do it when you are done. Stand up. Uh -uh. And it's not every time you should be under. The Bible says that shall be above only. Come up either. They don't teach us these things in church, but it leads to problems sometimes they go. It's your husband. Satisfy him. When a man is sexually satisfied, he's emotionally stable. There's nothing anybody wants to free, you know. Because he's satisfied with you. Who says it must be your husband that will invite you for sex every time? Who says? Know your slang now. Know your code. Can we travel to Jerusalem today? <laughs> Some of you are so used to a scarf. Even when your husband is making love to you. My scarf, scarf, scarf. Scarf, scarf, scarf. Ooh. Scarf and berets. Only God knows who created that beret. It's an affliction against womanhood. Kill all day. And the men are free. But the woman is calf and beret. Yo, Kolesa Lejo. Beret. Beret. So the man is say, which one now? Scarf again. My scarf, my scarf, my scarf. Please be neat as a woman. Don't look 67 at 37. Even if you always tie scarf, tie it to church, but not everywhere. Once in a while, let air, fresh air come. See your husband now. The man, the, that's what the man can think because his brain is ventilated. Scarf in the morning, scarf in the night, scarf in the evening, scarf, scarf. You cannot step out without scarf. So your brain, oru mu, oru. What is say? Let fresh air come. Let fresh air come. I'm close to mommy now. I want to buy fresh air. Sorry, you're in the house. Get fresh air on your brain. Madam, that's not what will take you to heaven. Some of you are saying, my marriage has a problem. It's the devil. And the devil is saying, I don't even know your address. <laughs> you must dress to please your husband. You must wear night wears. It's not that your husband is making love to you and then cockroach is coming from under the bed. Rat is coming because of newspapers. 1930. Daily times. You're, you're under your bed should be free. It should be free. Your kitchen should be neat. Your bathroom should be neat. As a woman, you 
it should be neat. Even if you don't wear jewelry, make it up. Don't just put a lubon on your face, white powder. No, no, no. Look for compact powder. Compact. Even if it's ordinary rub, put it on your lips. Go back, crack, crack, crack. You don't need lipstick like my own. I'm dressing to please my husband. You don't have to put this on. But madam, you can be more beautiful. As you age, you need to push it up a bit. Comb your hair. Look good. Go and buy compact powder. You will see what your husband will say. Look nice. Tie a little scarf on your neck. You're not wearing jewelry. Just tie a little scarf. Just look good. There's a way you tie your head gown. You look older than your age. So get someone to teach you. Satellite dish. It's a sugar mom.